Hi, my name is Steph Pepper, and today I'm interviewing Lillian Yilkum. So, Lily, I have some questions about your thumb. <laughs> so, first, Lily, how did you hurt your thumb? Well, I'm actually the catcher here for the softball team, and I don't really remember when I hurt it. All I know is, like, after one of the pitches, it became increasingly more painful, and I, I knew something was wrong. Hi, I'm Sarah Von Lang. I'm the second interviewer here. So, Lily, who did you see directly after you got hurt? Uh, directly off, I came off the field, I went and saw Adam and Cece, which is our athletic trainers here, and uh, they examined my thumb quickly just to see if I should go back in the game or not, and they decided it would be smart if I did not. My name is Brock Urban. I'm the third interviewer. So, Lily, how many different doctors did you have to see? Uh, after I saw Adam and Cece, the athletic trainers, they referred me to a radiologist so I could get some x-rays just to see where I was in the baseline. So, what other doctors did you see after the radiologist? Um, after that, they noticed that a chunk was actually missing from my bone. They sent me to an orthopedic doctor to determine whether I would need surgery or not. My name is Kayla and I'm the fourth interviewer. What is the diagnosis they gave you? Uh, well, after going to the orthopedic doctor, they determined that I would need surgery and they sent me to a surgeon. Lily, what steps did you take on the day of the surgery to prepare yourself for the surgery? Um, well, obviously you can't eat or drink 12 hours prior to your surgery. So the morning of, I went in and I checked in with the receptionist and they took your names and your birthday and dealt with all the paperwork. And eventually they took me up to the surgical floor where I met with a bunch of different nurses who took things like my vitals, my blood pressure, and inserted my IV. And it's actually difficult because they couldn't find a vein so they had to use a real small one in my hand. It missed a few times. Uh, a few hours had passed before I was ready to go back into the surgical room and that's where I met my anesthesiologist. There was the head doctor and a few of his um, nurses with him. And then after they gave me the anesthesia, uh, they took me back into the room where Dr. Recant, my hand surgeon, performed surgery on my left thumb. Can you show me where exactly on your thumb you had surgery and explain to me the surgical process? Yeah, so you can see the incision right here and what they actually did was they cut along my knuckle to uh, put in an anchor which is like a pin with two stitches coming out of it. So they used that pin to take the chunk of bone and put it back in place and the two stitches to sew up my uh, ulnar collateral ligament of the left thumb. So what steps did you have to take after surgery? Uh, well, when I woke up from anesthesia, the anesthesia actually had a really big effect on me and made me pretty sick, so I had to see another nurse to put in a different type of medicine to get rid of that sickness. But after that, they cleared me and sent me home, and about a week, I went back to get my stitches removed. From there, they sent me to a physical therapist, which actually made me this cast with thermal plastic where they just get it really warm and they mold it to your hand so that it fits and keeps you stable. And I'm in this for about five to six weeks and I, I can wash it finally, but I, I have to be careful with certain types of soaps because it can infect some of the incisions. So from the minute that you hurt your thumb to the minute that you were all done with rehab and physical therapy, how was your overall experience with all the doctors and the healthcare providers? Uh, well, it actually took a lot longer than I thought it would. It took about a week to get an x-ray, a week for an MRI, and
and then all in all it took about four weeks before I was all scheduled and ready for surgery and the day before I got a call saying that my doctor had taken an unexpected leave of absence so I had to start back at square run and give all my information all over again reschedule I had to transfer all of my insurance information and eventually they were able to get me in and I was able to get through surgery pretty quickly and just the involvement of all the types of doctors and nurses and all the staff in the medical field was very crucial for uh, just, you know, getting my thumb better and getting me back to the physical therapy to eventually, you know, have a healthy thumb again.